Welcome to Rose Opal Knits, our crafty podcast. <laughs> this is episode 73 and I'm Daphne. And I'm Erica. And we are a mother-in-law, daughter-in-law duo from Delaware. Hey, how you doing? Welcome. If you are new here, we hope you stick around and you enjoy what you see. And if you are retur returning, I do that every time. <laughs> if you are returning, um, thank you so much. We appreciate you choosing to spend some of your time with us. And um, we have um, more announcements. So we are going to start with um, different announcement type stuff before we get into the crafty goodness. Um, but I only have knitting. Do you have anything other than knitting? <laughs> no, nope, it's all <laughs> knitting today. So um, first on the um, list of things we need to discuss is the winner of our Hey Country Creations. Um, we asked you to leave a comment with what you liked um, out of her shop and to be eligible to win a Valentine's Progress Keeper, right? Yeah. All right. So we picked a winner this morning before we started recording and um, the winner is on the screen now. So if that's you, um, we will give, uh, I forget, do you remember? You're I think you're supposed to contact her. Yes. Or, I mean, if, if you contact us, we'll get her in touch with you in some way. On Instagram, yeah. you could contact um, Hey Country Creations and that information is in the description box below. Um, we will give her your name so that she is expecting you. And if you, for some reason, can't contact her yourself, just contact us. You can leave us a comment or send us an email at roseopalnits at gmail.com. And we will help you uh, coordinate that with her because she's going to send it directly to you. Okay. And um, also, our... Cozy Kids Mal is going to be starting on January 30th. Seven days. Yeah, that's about a week away. And we did receive a question um, about that. And we didn't respond to any comments yet because when we do the random comment generator, we just like to hold off on commenting because I don't know if it affects the odds of winning or not. I don't know either, but you know. Um, but we will re um, return those comments, but we will say this now. The Cozy Kids Mal is for anything kid related. It's not just babies. So um, you can knit your 13-year-old a sweater or your 15-year-old a vest or your baby a hat, booties, blankets, um, anything for our kids, um, to keep them cozy and warm. And, uh, we love those slightly smaller knits. Although when you get to the teenage years, they're basically adult size, right? <laughs> but, um, the smaller knits are fun, um, because they go a little bit quicker. <laughs> but, um, so that's going to be starting and we have the participation hashtag. That's on the screen and the FO hashtag um, will also be on the screen now. And that runs from January 30th to April 30th, which is Daphne's due date. And um, the winners will be picked from the FO thread um, for that. And Whips are allowed, but not more than what 25. 25 percent. Yeah, finished. I was gonna start mine. I did not. Yeah, I decided to do other stuff. I was gonna start mine too, um, but I didn't either because I want to start the blanket because I don't think I have enough yarn. Mm -hmm. But it's oh. just from Hobby Lobby. I only oh. got two of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could pick up another yeah. if you needed to. And I mean, I'm not really worried about if the colors don't match exactly. It's a baby blanket. Yeah, it's fine. And um, we have received some um, prizes in the mail. Um, Stephanie of Texas, Texas Peach Knits uh, YouTube podcast, a podcast here on YouTube. Um, she generously um, donated some yarny goodies. 
and said that we could um, keep something if we wanted to and we could use some for the Cozy Kids Mal and that's what we plan to do. So um, we should have taken these out no. of the plastic first, right? That's okay, this isn't like the super bad crinkly plastic yeah, yeah. at least. <clears throat> like some plastic is worse than others. Mm -hmm. So real quick, we're just going to show you what fun prizes we have. Um, I can't are we going to, did we decide if we were going to keep something or not? No, we haven't. <laughs> not really. But anyways, I'll start with what the three in my hands. This is three Irish girls, here and co, in the space oddity. So it's black with like some color. Mm -hmm. And then this is Nam, which is the gritty knits in the seasoning. This one's an MCN, so merino, nylon, cashmere, and this one is merino and nylon. Mm -hmm. And then the last one in this bag is Socks at Rock, Mountain oh. Sock Club. Mm -hmm. And that is uh, the colorway, the superhero blue. That purpley. That's, this is like purpley blue down here. I'm wondering if that doesn't say the superhero blues. It does, blues. So, but Maybe yeah, this a, is more purple than showing up yeah. on the screen. It's like, this is like just showing up as the same color as this, but this it's is, not. this is the blue. This is pretty accurate up here, but then this is purple actually, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I don't know what this one is. Either. All right. And then my bag is this Knit Picks Hawthorne Sport in the colorway Beaumont and it is bright fun color. See, that's showing up orange too. This is pink. Yep. Like up here is a fuchsia. You can kind of see it there. It's it, also up here. But like this orange is right. Yeah. And this yellow is right. It's just, it's not showing up the, like all the pink in that one. And then there's two of these. So these would go together as a prize. Um, this is Knit Picks Gloss and the Dolphin colorway. And there's two. Are these 50 grams? Yes, I think so. Yep. Their fingering weight 220 even. yards, 50 grams. Yep. And then we have two of these. So these would be given as a prize together too. I think, right? Yeah. Stroll gradient in dazzle pants, <laughs> which is a uh, purple. So, yep. These are both 100 grams each. Um... But, all right, so thank you so much, Stephanie. That's, again, that's Stephanie of Texas Peach Knits, and we appreciate your um, donation to the prize, back, uh, prize box that we have. <laughs> and, um, all right. And we have two more things to discuss. Um, what was, oh, okay. So Daphne and I were talking and we have the Rose Open Knits Facebook group, which is basically severely neglected by us. And there's, yeah, it is not anyone else's fault but our own. Neither of us really use Facebook like that. Um, I think you use it to keep in touch with the family that lives. I don't even really use it. Though. Yeah, yeah. I literally post on Instagram and I have it set up so oh, immediately it'll... post so to you Facebook, don't actually even have so to go to don't Facebook. even yeah. actually like post on Facebook uh -huh. and I don't have the Facebook app or anything like that I have to like you know get on my laptop and log in and um, and I just don't like I have I'm belong to homeschool groups on there and I don't use those and um, so we both of us have felt kind of bad about that and um, we're not, okay, we're not even very good at using Instagram, okay? Like, I feel like I'm better now that I have Rose Opal Erica. <laughs> yeah, but my whole point is, is like, we really only post on Instagram when we're posting a new video, which is bad. Yeah, bad. yeah, yeah. Don't we follow our example. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. we don't post anything at all, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. Unless it's like, we randomly think about it, which we don't. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you're yeah. part, about, part of that group, you can see. Mm-hmm. But, um, so, however, having said that, um, when the Crazy Sock Lady had her summer sock camp in 2021, um, I was a VIP camper and she had a private Discord group and I 
that was my first time using Discord, and um, I really enjoyed that platform. Um, the reason we never started a Ravelry group was because we don't really use Ravelry like that either. I personally think the uh, group, the I don't understand how the messaging works. in the groups is okay. kind of like. I don't know. I don't like the format of it. And um, so, and neither of us really use Ravelry, Ravelry like that. We have used it more with our project pages in the last year, but we just, it wasn't something that we wanted to start. So then we thought, well, let's try Facebook. You know, I had been in a couple of Facebook groups through the year and that ended up being like a dud for us. Um, however, like I said, I joined Discord for the Crazy Slack League and I really, really had fun chatting in there with my um, VIP ladies and then we extended the group a little bit longer um, to finish out the summer and I was kind of sad when it ended <laughs> and so this whole time since the summer of 20 end of the summer 2021 um, I've been like wanting to like find another nitty discord group to join but I didn't want to just join a, a, like you know a, a group. random one yeah that, you real, like, yeah, you that I didn't know. know anyone in and um so anyway Daphne is on discord because you know she's Games. she's she's a little bit of a gamer not really don't ask me a question I don't know but okay anyway so now that you say that so my discord name is not like rose oval anything Daphne no it's what is it? Sourdough? Sourdough. So, yeah. me and Holden, he was like, you gotta make a Discord. You gotta make a Twitch, which is a gaming, like a streaming platform. Platform. I couldn't think of the words. So, he's like, but you got, you can't have, like, a basic name. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, get come up with something different. Like, he's like, he was Bourbon Sam Salmon, but now after Vlogmas, he's the Desert, Desert Traveler. Traveler. <laughs> yeah. So if you don't know what that's from, you gotta go watch You've gotta, Vlogmas. If you just want to watch that Vlogmas <laughs> episode, it's called Daphne's Husband Makes an <laughs> Unexpected and Ridiculous Appearance. So, so then you'll get the Desert Traveler reference. But anyways, so he's like, you gotta be something else. And so on Twitch and like every other gaming platform... It's grilled sourdough, but for Discord, it was too long to be grilled sourdough, so it's just sourdough. Mm -hmm. Because I like sourdough bread a mm, lot. She does a lot. She bought sourdough bread, and then I forgot I bought it. I and forgot she bought it. it. Went to the grocery store a couple of days later. Later, bought more sourdough bread. That's how much she <laughs> loves sourdough bread. Um, I can't figure out how to make sourdough. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. My sourdough starter just died, and mm -hmm. I don't know why it's mm -hmm. dying. So mm -hmm. can't figure it out. But it's okay. Sourdough bread is delicious. Mm-hmm. But back to Discord. <laughs> I felt like I had to make that yeah, disclaimer, yeah, okay? I, I, on Discord, I'm Rosa Blair. Yeah, see, like, she's yeah. super but basic that's about it. that... Basic. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but that's because... Excuse me. Hers was made for knitting. It was made for knitting. I was... We already had Rose Opal Knits, so Rose Opal Erica just made sense. Yeah. Um, but anyway, all that to say, we have started a private Discord group, um... Yeah. For, and we want you guys to join us. So if you are on Discord and you'd like to join us. It, wait, it is private. So you cannot search it. Yeah, you can't go to Discord and search it. Yeah. There will hopefully be a link. Um, uh, Holden, my oldest son, her husband has promised. Our manager. Promised, yes, our manager. <laughs> I don't know what he's managing. He's managing the kids downstairs while we do this. But um, he he but he knows about Discord. So he said that we can put a link in the description box below, and you guys can join that way. So if you have a Discord, um, please, if you want to, you know, we'll talk about you know nitty things any day of the week you want to, <laughs> and um, we can talk about any crafts if you want. And um, and if you haven't joined Discord, it's so easy, and it's free. So join it, and um, <laughs> even if you just join to like try it out with us, yeah, that'd be great, yeah, uh huh. And um, so so there's that, and um, that like I said, that link will be below in the description box. And the last thing um, we want to bring up, um, I feel like a little a little type of way about it but however we're going to talk about it and we won't talk about it a lot and i want to like before we bring it up i want to say she's pretty much going to mention it this one time and it's probably not going to be brought up again <laughs> um however <laughs> um but i want to say first 
that like we love this community. We um, appreciate everyone who's been a part of this community um, from the the first episode all the way to the ones who just joined the last episode. Like it's a wonderful community. Um, but it was uh, brought. It was mentioned to me that um, I. It wasn't by our manager. <laughs> it was by a friend um, who said that I might want to like find a way to, how do I put this? Okay. So I have, you know, we have some knitting patterns on the website and they are for free. All of our knitting patterns are free. And while they're not super fancy knitting patterns, um, I, you know, they do, it does take my time and some money to have the website. And she said that it she thought it would be a great idea if someone wanted to um like bless us with a donation um for offering the free patterns or just because we host these um make make alongs and the knit alongs we do giveaways you know which some of that does you know come out of our you know crafty budget <laughs> um that we could you know maybe we should do that and it is not not necessary no one has to ever donate anything um but if you felt like you wanted to um because you have felt that we have you know helped you along on your knitting journey some way or you've used a pattern and you liked it or for whatever reason there will be a ko-fi link um, in the description box below and you may have heard about Ko-Fi before or maybe you've heard somebody say if you want to buy me a coffee you know the links in the description box below or you know sometimes you hear people say thank you for your Ko-Fi donation or thank you for buying me a coffee but anyway so now that I'm feeling all red and overheated <laughs> um, we do have a Ko-Fi um, page and it is you know Rose Opal Knits and that link is below but like I said you are welcome here. You don't ever have to donate anything, but if you should want to, it's below. All right. So, <laughs> 17 minutes. That's longer than the last episode. Okay. So that's everything. And we are going to jump into all the nitty goodness now. I'll start with what I'm wearing. Um, this is a sweater of my own creation. It started out as a cow. I was working on knitting writing up a color work cow pattern and then i just switched it into a sweater pattern and this is how it ended up and i i have my notes which only make half sense to me so i don't know if it'll ever be replicated although i would like to knit another one and um i'm sure you could look at it and figure it out yeah but um the blue color and the multi color um, yarn I know is Suburban Stitcher DK base and um, the one was like a basic blue that she, tonal she carried in her shop and the other one was a special monthly colorway that she had for the um, parks um, like you know the American the national parks yeah and um, and then the gray <laughs> is uh, Barocco ultra wool DK that's kind of similar to it is. It's Holden. the same. It's the same color as Holden's. Yeah, which I don't remember what it's called, but it is the same color. Stone as wash. Holden. Yeah, something like something that. Something like that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Uh huh. But um, so that's all. The, and I love this sweater. Um, that's like one of the ones you wear actually quite a bit too. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's what I'm wearing. And now we will jump into finished objects. I have one little one. I have four. Okay. <laughs> You go first. I've been talking <laughs> way too much. Okay, we'll talk about socks first. Because if it, your one finished object, what is it? I'm spilling water on myself. It's a dish, dish cloth. Okay, yeah. I'll do socks first then. Okay. But you guys have already seen these ones for the most part. Hold on, it's like twisting. And yes, I have my blue sock blockers because I had three pairs of socks. Anyway, so these are them. This was one was done already, so I'm not even going to hold that. But anyways, so this is where I was on the last podcast. So I finished the heel flap and gusset and then the toe. And these are the String of Heart Socks by Maddie Hobbs, which is uh, We Share Needles. 
and I don't think it's kind of hard to show it the cable part there you go you can see them up here mm -hmm. it's a little hard to show on camera because my yarn speckled but it's really cute but so I knit these on DK weight yarn this is um yarnable December of 2022 it's winter mint I believe something like that winter mint pretty sure but anyways so and I knit it to pattern I knit the smallest size on her pattern because she has like four sizes and it was the the smallest size was perfect for a DK weight sock for myself so I did one by one ribbing heel flap and gusset and then a wedge toe which I don't know what heel toe or ribbing she has in her pattern I just did the Cable pattern. I think but the ribbing in her pattern is a, two, a pattern is a two by two. I think it is because I think she, that's what she prefers. Mm -hmm. But I think it meets up with her cables too. Yeah, I think it does. Mm -hmm. But I, I just really like the one well, by one. Yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah. Do you want this one off too? I want to show this better. There, you can kind of see that. Mm -hmm. I feel like you can't see it, and I used a US three. Yeah, because I gotta put these ones on there. Okay. I'm gonna hold these so I can talk about these. These were the next pair I finished. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so these ones are a uh, brand new. I was gonna say these are. You guys didn't even see these. Start and finish. Yeah. I had the urge to cast on fingering held double socks, so this is what I came up with. And so the minis, so this, all that is. I don't really know what they are. I know the navy blue is Clark and Nell from a sock set. The the fall sock set of 2020, I believe. Not 2020. 2021? 2021, maybe. Because we bought the 2020 and we split it, I think. Yes. Yeah. So yeah this, it, was a it must have base. been the 2022. Mm -hmm. 2021. Mm -hmm. Which was a tweed, so it was... Um, merino and then the tweed. So it doesn't technically have nylon running all the way through it because it is a tweed. So, the gold in it, I'm not sure what it is either. It might have been in the Mesa Skeins Advent. Very possible. <laughs> but, so those are those two. They're kind of a mystery, but I kind of know what they are. I know the Clark Nell is right, but I don't know about the Mesa Skeins. And, so yeah, those are those. And then this yarn, the main color, is actually Rose Rose Hill mm -hmm. yarn in the Country Bicycle colorway, which I had 53 grams of, and I used all but five to knit these socks. And I was very close to not having enough yarn. So, yeah, you had to manage it. Yes. And um, how much do you have left of the 20? Seven of oh, each. Okay. Seven of the minis. Nice. And this is the laid edges sock pattern it is a free pattern on Ravelry I forget who it is by off the top of my head but I've already knit it once and I didn't want just a plain another plain sock so I wanted to do something and I was like it's on both sides yeah mm -hmm. it's supposed to be on the edge of them so but like I said this is fingering held double the pattern is written for DK weight mm -hmm. so again I believe I could be wrong. I think it is because I, I think is. you knit a pair of <coughs> DK weight. Yeah, my other ones are DK also. Mm -hmm. But it's a really simple um, three row repeat for that cable. And I wanted something simple, but like something I could do. Like something that looked a little harder, but it was super simple to do. Yeah. And I already knew it's how to do nice. this. So I did have to fudge the numbers a little bit compared to the pattern. Because when I do fingering held double, it's on a US four and I go down to 44 stitches instead of 48 you used to do yes I US did. 3 48 stitches for DK weight for you fingering weight held double yeah but then it was like so tight and mm -hmm. I have a pair and it's kind of hard to get on mm -hmm. so she switched and it up. then mm -hmm. I was like I could just pull up the needle mm -hmm. and it'd probably fit better mm -hmm. so US I, I do fingering on a 44. held double um on a US 3 all right and then you guys have seen these, but these were the third pair I finished. So I said this yeah. was the Rose Hill Country Cycle, and it's not. This is the Rose Hill yarn, but it is um, Winter Wonderland. So 
and this is the one that is not an accurate representation of the yarn because Holden accidentally spilled a coffee on it. So I washed these last night. That water was gross. Oh, I'm sure. It's gross. But they feel way better now. But anyway, so They're still kind of stained, though, with the coffee. Yes, they are going to be stained. So, like, a lot of the tan was actually more white. Like, much more pale, basically. So, it's similar to the color, but it's not a true color because of the coffee staining. Mm -hmm. And so, I was all the way up here on the first sock. So, it is just a plain vanilla fingering weight sock. So, normal one-by-one one rib, tail flap and gusset, and then a wedge toe on a US one and a half. So they are done. And I kind of had a theme for the color of my socks. I see so that. I like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I was feeling the blues and greens and stuff. Those are my socks. And they're like all pretty similar. Mm -hmm. We kind of got the theme. Oh, and I also we got the theme. I, <laughs> I had mine on first. <laughs> <laughs> but um these are all for me and I was gonna say something else about them oh so this was on my make nine so that's done and this was my skein oh. my full skein from my sock bin sock section of unused yarn and then this I actually cast on like Christmas, New Year's, something Christmas, I think. It was after Christmas, but before New Year's, I think. Something like that. So mm -hmm. these don't count for anything this year. And then these are my January scrappy socks. Mm -hmm. Well, those count as a finish. No, no, I just meant for yeah for my goals, goals. My goals. Uh -huh. They don't really have any yeah. meaning for those. Just mm -hmm. another pair of socks for myself. Speaking of goals, I have goals to knit a dishcloth, one dishcloth a month, with Grizzly Knits and her dish along. And in this bag by White Rose Fiber Co. is my finished dishcloth. So this is this is the uh, Grandma's Second Favorite Dishcloth by PJ Allen on Ravelry. It's a free pattern. And I use Knit Picks Dishy in the Colonial Rose colorway and I use the US 8 which is a five millimeter yeah five millimeter needle chow goo and I think I write this down no I didn't I think you need to reprint your pattern. It's like falling apart. Yeah. <laughs> barely need that pattern. I just write, usually write what number of stitches I go to. Mm. I think I go to 50, 54 stitches before I start decreasing. I go a little bit more than the pattern itself calls for. But, so there's that. My one and only finish. I got my white rose fiber co bag too. Yeah, I had mine first. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so mine's the same finished object, just a different color. Mm -hmm. I knit mine to pattern, just because I didn't want to think about it. And yours is bigger than mine. <laughs> what size needle did you use? Is this nine? Oh. It is. Okay. Yeah, I told you. Uh, so, mm, I know this color. This was the yarn from Paisley's float tote that I knit. And it is peaches and cream, whatever it is. Peaches and cream. What's the other one? Lilies and cream. Sugar and cream. It's only from Walmart. Because mm -hmm. I bought it from Walmart. <laughs> it's only a little bit bigger than mine. But anyways, so it's whatever that one is. And it's Sunshine, I think. It's on my Ravelry page. I did make the page. But I forgot to like double check my color and notes before recording. But anyways, that's my color. And mine is on a US 9, which is a 55 millimeter. That's right, because you were waiting for the needle. Yeah, and then I was like, wait a minute. Oh, I didn't even bring this up. I thought the Chow Goo... I forget what they're called. Twist. Twist, maybe. The little yellow set. It's a yellow thing. Like, yellow 
It's like the what little it red. It's like the little red set for like sock size needles, and yeah. then the blue, blue set for like your DK to worsted weight size stuff, like the sleeve circumference. Yeah, the and they have shorties. the new. Yeah, they have the new yellow one that's like for larger than what US eight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like so the blue set is four to eight, I believe, right? Or is it five? It might be five to eight. Five, six, yeah, seven, yeah, eight. I think so. It's either four to eight or five to eight. But either way, so that's well, the, the red blue one set. is one to through four, right? One, is two, it? three, four. I don't know. I don't have the red set anymore. Uh, oh yeah, I do. <laughs> but anyway, so the yellow set is nine to eleven. So nine, ten, ten and a half, and eleven. And so those ones are a little different than the blue and red sets, actually, because they're like the forte cable. They're not the red lace. Yeah, that's why, but, okay, that's why so I was the saying only they were the twist, the right? the red lace, I don't know, are they called twist? I they might know. be. I don't know. Yellow set, you guys. <laughs> I, no, like, I'm pretty sure if you just look up Chagu yellow set, you can find it. I'm pretty sure you can. Mm -hmm. But, um, so the difference between the red lace and the Chow, like, the Fortes are when they're joined, they twist. Which, I noticed knitting with those, the yarn kind of got caught on it mm. which is kind of a bummer mm -hmm. but it's okay like it's not that big of a deal you're gonna use them for sleeves mm -hmm. and for the most part i can knit a sleeve on a using one of the 12 inch tables and then put those three inch tips on them and it'll will be pretty easy you know because i don't I don't really do a rapid decrease, so mm -hmm. it won't really bug me, but, like, I know some people, most people do decreases, I feel like, so it might not be the best, like, mm -hmm. maybe just a fixed set would be better for people who are going to decrease and need a s even smaller circumference than using the 12-inch cord for the large set of mm -hmm. Chagu. Or if you don't mind your yarn getting, it wasn't even bad, though. But I did notice, and I was also using cotton, which I don't really like to knit with anyways. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's not a very fair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll have to actually knit a sweater, a sleeve, the sleeves of a sweater. But anyways, that. so I was waiting for these needles, but they were taking forever. So I was like, why am I waiting? I have a US 9 in my yellow set that I have not used mm -hmm. yet. So it was literally the first time I used them. But then my needles came the next day after I finished the dishcloth. Mm -hmm. But mind you... Cast on the dishcloth and finish it that same night. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, just impatient. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting on my needles, but now I have needles that are just gonna live in this bag. Yeah, for, for your dishcloth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, are we done with um finished objects? Yeah. All right. Into whips. I have one, two, three, four. I have three. All right. Well, I'll go first then. I do have two things. I was going to cast on, though, too. Yeah, I have one thing I was going to cast on. Okay. Yeah, we don't talk about what we're going to, like, actually talk about until we get up here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, this isn't a good spot. You know, I have something else that's not in a good spot. Oh, well. Um, so, these are my January socks. They are on my Make 9. It is the Autumn Acorns, uh, what's it called? Magic Heel pattern. So I'm working on the heels back here. I have two more inches of the heel to go before I can uh, knit the foot. Um, but they will definitely be done by the end of the month. I was here the last time I showed them. And so I did quite a bit of knitting. And they're not looking like a match at all. I am knitting them obviously two at a time on a US 5, which is a 3.75, 3.75, look at me, I have no idea. a millimeter needle, and um, I am using Knit Picks. Hey, here, were you holding Daphne? Yeah. Thanks. After I finish yawning. <laughs> <laughs> I am using Knit Picks, two different balls, same colorway. Hey, look, you can see the color change, you guys. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to see sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, I forget. I think it's Chroma Twist. That sounds right. 
in the, yeah, Chroma Twist in the Fathoms colorway. And these are for me. Actually, I have two projects I'm going to cast on. So we have the same amount. Yay. <laughs> so there's that. And these are living in my Dolphina collection bag that was exclusive to Native Fibers, right? Mm -hmm. All right. You want to go? Sure. Okay. Mine's in, I forget where I got this. Well, it's on Etsy, but I don't know the shop. That's my Harry Potter bag. But anyways, this is Holden's Musselburg hat. And I was there. I haven't knit much, but I don't know. I get very bored of this very easily. I don't know why exactly. This is on a US 3, which is a 3.25 millimeter. But, and it's like the extra large size, I think. I don't remember. I'm just <laughs> knitting. I don't know. Uh -huh. I'm just knitting it. But anyways, so I'm getting there. It's around 50 grams now. But, I don't know. Like, I can't stick to it. For very long. Um, Does it like, have alpaca in it? Yeah. Okay. It looks but, furry. Yeah, it's alpaca. Mm -hmm. It's the Apple something. Mm -hmm. I don't remember now. Apple Fiber Studio mm -hmm. and Booze. Mm -hmm. And it's 20% uh, alpaca, 60% merino, and 20% nylon. And I don't, like everyone who has knit this hat pattern loves it. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I don't hate it, though, either. Like, yeah, yeah. It's just, I'm bored. Mm -hmm. I'm very bored of it. Yeah, I have plans to knit my husband a muscle burr. Um, but... I'd much rather knit a Rafa's hat. Yeah. But I haven't passed it on yet, so... Yeah, I mean, it's a good pattern. It's a good pattern. I'm just bored of it. Mm -hmm. for me. But also, it has also been on my needles for over a year. I know. You should just push through. I'm trying. I'm trying. I don't know. I can't stick to it. Mm -hmm. In this bag, I love this bag. This is a bag from That's my so friend. Pretty. My friend Julie. Um, her I believe it was her mother-in-law sewed it, and it's got a pocket all along. Oh, my nails are shot. Look, I just Goodness. ripped that. Yeah, I thought I'd be like good and like do my nails, and that was like. One of my new goals was to have my nails done. And it just like dried my nails out and made them all crack and break. Oh. Hmm. Anyway, it's my Zweig by Caitlin Hunter. And I just felt like working on some lace. But I didn't feel like working on my province tee. Although, I did get my province tee back on the needles. And I did knit two rows. <laughs> I just, that's it. So, I felt like working on my Zweig. And I... I was there the last time, so I knit that much. And there are cables in this lace, and there was only two cable rounds in the lace, and I finished both of them, so now it's just straight lace. But you want to hold it? How much more lace is there? Uh, I was going to look that up after I told the colors. So the orange, the main color, is Erica by Sweet Mountain crafts sweet mountain fiber um and because it's my color it's my favorite color so it's called erica and um then the i don't really call it a contrast it's more of like a coordinating color this is tranquility by beachy breeze fibers and i had ordered this from the crazy sock lady um shop when she had her shop and when I pulled this out last weekend, I started on round 18 of the lace. There's 35 rounds of lace, and I am finished through round 26. So I don't have too many more to go. And um, there's also cable stitches on the body of this sweater that I'm going to omit because I don't need that in my life. I like lace. I love the look of cables. I think they're pretty. I just don't like knitting them. And I never think my cables look good anyway. Oh, I didn't say what needle. I think it's a US 6, which is a 4 millimeter. Just let me check that. 
Yes, US 6, which is a 4 millimeter. All right. I got out my No Character Crafts bag. I got it out that your had full my bag. <laughs> okay, well, it makes sense in a minute. Okay. okay. <laughs> Anyways, yes, it's a fall bag. Okay, there's also a fall stitch marker in here. Okay. I'm not judging, I'm just saying. Uh, it feels like it. Like, so. <laughs> it feels like Anyways, it. Anyways, there's my fall mm. leaf, too. Mm -hmm. Right? And I love that orange kingdom inside. <laughs> Very pretty. Mm -hmm. But anyways, look, I even had to print this one partially. It's only the chart, actually. Never mind. <laughs> but anyways, so this is off from Make 9, too. And it is... Come on, I have something in here. Never mind. It's just a tag. It felt heavier. This is the Falling Leaves sweater. Oh, so it makes look sense. It. Falling yeah. Leaves falling with your fall bag. Uh-huh. Hold on. My yarn's tangled. Sorry. Anyways, I'm not very far. They're big needles, so they're going to clink. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so not very far. I'm only on, like, row 13, but there's lace, and I think there's, is it just the lace right now? There are lace and cables and baubles all in this. It's very hard to show. Like, mm -hmm. This really sweater looks just, like, right up your alley. Uh -huh. Anyways, so the yarn, the... I was about to say, this is not all the yarn. Mason put my yarn away. <laughs> Anyways, so this is the main color. Main color. They're very similar. But this is Pound of Love in the taupe color, which I used to knit a baby blanket last year. And then the other color I'm using is a mohair that matches. <laughs> and this is Barocco. How would you say that one? Ariel. Ariel. Okay. I was going to add, like, an extra syllable, syllable probably. <laughs> and this is just the number. It's 3416. Mm -hmm. And I believe I'm knitting on the fourth side, which is going to make it similar to my Magnolia. Well, I guess the Magnolia I just knit, too, is the same size I would have knit mm -hmm. for myself anyways. But, so. What size needles? 13. Okay. US 13 and 9 millimeter. And the ribbing was on. Oh no. 10 and a half. 10 and a half. Sounds right. But, anyways, it's getting there. Like I said, I'm only on like row 13. And there's a lot going on. But I'm knitting this. So, Joe Wood, one of our viewers, she sent me the picture and I was like, oh, that's pretty. She's like, you want to knit it with me? And I'm like, sure. I just have to figure out if I got yarn for it. And then I found the taupe, and then I found something to go with the taupe yarn, basically. Mm -hmm. So all I bought for this was the mohair, because it is an Aran weight, and Pound of Love is a worsted weight. So, very pretty. Mm -hmm. I it should is. knit this. It is very pretty. <laughs> but, after the lace cable bobble situation in the yoke, it'll go so quick. So, I don't know. Mm. It's a lot. Like, I wish I could show you this chart. It's a lot. It's crazy. So in this bag by Molly Klein Designs, I have my front porch shawl by the Autumn Acorn. And this is one of the ones that's... Actually, I guess this is the only one that's not in a good spot. Yeah, I mean, the socks, you were like, this isn't in a good spot. Yeah, I mean, like... it could have been better, but okay. Because this... So yesterday evening, I was watching football with my husband. We were watching Dallas get beaten by San Francisco <laughs> and um so I was knitting along on this this is where I was uh, I meant to put a prettier marker on it but a prettier marker. <laughs> yeah it's there because it's light so it's not pulling down on it but I meant to put a prettier one for the podcast I forgot you don't um, have any light ones I think I do you should yeah I think I, do. I have some from Angela when she mm -hmm. like because she some mm, normally not always, but normally adds one to her card. Willow tree, yeah. Angela Willow tree yarn, yeah. Um, so this is where I was. So I knit this section, which was a straight section, and now I'm in an, another increase section. So I'm increasing on both sides, and I've used two. So there's four colors total. One, two, three, four. So I've added two more colors since the last time. But I got here... And there was a break 
excuse me, a break in my yarn. It was like barely connected with like one strand, like one little teeny tiny strand and I gave it a light tug and it just said boom. So now I have to unknit that and um, start over because it is super washed so I can't spit splice it. But anyway, it happens sometimes. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's where I am, and I am knitting this on a US 5, which is a 3.75, and I'm using very old stash yarn. <laughs> Let me see. This colorway and this colorway are from the same dyer, and the dyer had a name change. It was HKNT on Etsy, and then it was Bay Street yarns and I don't even know if the shop's still active but this is Caribbean Breeze and this is Stepping Stones and then I am using this which is Dream in Color Jilly and the Retriever colorway and this is Noble Character Crafts which is no longer dying and the Embrace colorway There's that one. Can you put your project away? Oh, <laughs> yeah, and this is on my Make Nine. So. My last whip is in a Mountain State Stitches bag. And I had to move this because it was in the one bag you got me. And then I wanted to knit on it. And Theo gets my bags and rips my yarn apart. Oh, though it doesn't close. It's like yeah. a... Mm -hmm. That's the only bad part about that one. Mm -hmm. It's a good size bag. Mm -hmm. But anyways, this is my first sweater by Hive Knits. Her name is Lizzie. And... Excuse me. I was there. But this is the front, so I had actually knit the short rows. More of the short rows. Mm -hmm. So I'm into just the raglan increases now. So I'm knitting, not straight, but just... Now it will, like, actually be able to show you the progress easier. And I'm on a very small cord. Mm -hmm. I'm always on a very small cord, I feel like. Mm -hmm. I always forget to change it. But this is on a US 10, which is a 6 millimeter, And I knew what size I was knitting. I believe it's the fourth size. But it's not that I'm not happy with it. It's just very airy. And I'm, like, debating on if, like, you... I don't like that so much, you know? Like, when I think about this sweater, and when I see this sweater on other people, I think warm and cozy. And mine's so light and airy, and I'm like, it's not warm and cozy. So part of me wants to, like, rip it out. And start over. But then, like, I don't know what to do, because I want it in this color. It'd be so pretty in this color. Mm -hmm. So I just knit it. But I'm like, mm. I think it's going to... Like, if it wasn't so drapey, I think it'd be okay, you know? But it's, like, really drapey, and I want it to be a little bit stiffer of a fabric. Hmm. Well, you could just go down a needle size. I don't think I'm going to be happy with it if mm -hmm. I keep going, but I really want to just keep going. You know? Like, you ever have that? Because it's like, there's nothing wrong with the fabric either. Mm-mm. But, and I do have gauge, but this is a mystery scone. Scone cone and so I don't know the makeup of now it. Now I want scones. <laughs> I've been wanting scones actually. We should make some. Like, I don't know how to make scones. What? I've never made scones. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I want like orange scones. Orange scones. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah I've looked up a recipe but I have never made them but anyway so but it's a mystery cone so I don't know what the yarn's gonna do when I go to wash it but I know it's not like I I have a very strong feeling it's not going to do anything I want it to. I feel like it's going to get looser and drapier and mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it will. Based on like how it feels and everything, it's not going to do what I want it to. Like it's not going to bloom and like fill itself out. You know, like some yarn does. When you wash it, it like actually like Yeah, what's that one yarn, yarn that they say that does that? The... I feel like it's a drop. I feel like one of the drops. drops does it too. Yeah, but that's not the one I was thinking of. I was thinking of um, something else, but I can't remember what it is now. I don't know. There's, there is yarn that just like 
flute. It could like, do that. And, you know, and you just don't that's know. That's the hard part. Because it's like, a mystery skein, so. Wait, that, did you knit a gauge swatch? Did you did wash I it? it? I, no. Oh, okay. I'm that. Mm, okay. But, yeah, so then I was like, maybe I should just knit something on the same gauge and wash it. And I was like, yeah. Mm, I don't really want to do that. That sounds like a waste of time. <laughs> no, because then it will give you knowledge you don't have. So yeah, it's not a waste I'm, of time. I'm already pretty sure. I'm you can't be sure. You haven't washed it yet. I know. And you it's a mystery cone. It's very frustrating. You know how quick you could knit a gauge watch? I hate knitting gauge watches. I you know how it. quick you could knit one? I hate it. It doesn't matter how quick it is. I hate it. But, like, I don't think it's going to do what I want to do. But I don't want to rip it out. So then knit your gauge watch and wash it. I know. It. I know. Everyone's going to tell me the same exact thing, Okay. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, regardless, I still am not gonna want to rip it out, even though I'm, even if I, yeah. after I do a gauge swatch and it doesn't do what I want it to do, I'm still not gonna want to rip it out. You're going to mourn the loss of the knitting time that you put into it, but I guarantee you, you'll not want to continue then, knitting it if it's not gonna do what you want to do. Yeah, but then the problem is, is what am I gonna do with the yarn? You know, then you, you might, it might not like, be the, it might, the first sweater might not be the sweater for it. Maybe you need to find a different sweater. I know. Which there's like plenty of sweaters that could. But this is like the sweater that called to me when I saw it, like when I bought the cone. Mm-hmm. So like you ever buy a yarn and you envision mm -hmm. it being that thing. Yep. And then you go to do it and it's not going to work. Yep. I very strongly feel like it's not going to work for this yarn. And even though I don't know that for sure yet. I don't want to know, you know, like, mm -hmm. and that's why I feel like it also sat there forever, not getting knit, but then I do have a whole cone, like, okay, hold on, let me show you the yarn in here, which I doubt this is, this might be enough for the whole thing, just, but this isn't all the yarn, there are two cakes, I'm holding a double, there are two cakes in here. Those cakes look so loose. They aren't though, I mean, I've knit quite a bit of it too. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it wasn't like dissing the cakes. So I was just no, saying. I, I'm thinking I have enough on the cone where I could actually wind another cake and hold it triple. But then I'm like, what if that's not like good enough though either? You know, plus it's already held double, and undoing something held double is not fun. So, but it's not mohair, so it won't. No, be it's horrible. not mohair, and it doesn't sit splice. So. I don't know. I don't know. I do. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> Knit the gauge swatch. I don't want to. <laughs> Maybe one day. Maybe today. Probably not one day. Maybe I should just wa wash the whole thing. Put it on. You could put it on um, waist Maybe yarn. That. That'd be easier. <laughs> it would be easier. <laughs> All right. I'll probably do that one. Okay. We'll see. We'll let you know. So in the carrot bag, did it get darker? Yeah. Okay. It's um, it's like rainy. It's cloudy. weird. It's weird today. It rained. It got sunny. It got cloudy. It rained. Okay. It wasn't even like super cloudy when it was raining, you guys. It yeah. Was weird. It's weird. Um. All right. So in this carrot bag is my um. City limits, City limits by Tannis Lavely. I think that's how you say it. And. That's how much I knit. And I put it away for a little while. I remember I was like going to finish it by the end of January. Mm -hmm. But I put it away because I was holding it up and looking at it. And But I was holding it like this because I was knitting. And I, I noticed like light shining through in different spots. And so then I just twisted it around and around and noticed light. I had like eight stitches where I only picked up the one yarn instead of both yarns because I'm holding yarns That's together. That's the hard part about it. So I had to put markers on all those spots and then knit around and drop down and pick them up. I mean, it wasn't hard. I knew how to do it. Mm. But it's, it's just... Tedious. Yeah, it just kind of just like frustrated me. So I was like, eh, I fixed it and then I put it down. So I didn't get as much done as I had hoped to get done. 
but I mean it's coming along it'll get done and I really like the way it's looking and um so I am knitting this two two different colors held together for the marling effect and I am using a US 8 which is I can't remember a five yeah and all of the yarn is Knit Picks palette in different purpley colorways. So there's more than that, but that's what I have hands for. And um, I probably will have enough yarn to like, I don't know, knit something else. Maybe like a sweater for my <laughs> daughter or something. Although I don't know if she would wear Knit Picks palette. She might say it's itchy. But. Yeah, but you thought she would think the other sweater was itchy. Oh yeah, the sweater shirt, she loved it. Yeah. Although she did wear a t-shirt under it, so. But that's always an option. Yep. Alright, so I have purchases, because I got gift cards for Christmas. Oh, I didn't even bring that up! We can put a picture in of mine. Yeah, I'll talk about it, and then you can put a picture in. You don't okay. want to just go get it? No, it's all the way downstairs. <laughs> no, I'm okay. Okay. We can just talk about it and put a picture in. Okay, go ahead and talk <laughs> about it. But anyway, so mine is Holly Crest Fibers in the twig color. And I bought three skeins of it to knit the Birkin sweater by Caitlin Hunter, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And so during Vlogmas, she sent us prizes for our... Um, sock make along and um, one of them was well she also sent extras and so we could pick one and keep it for ourselves and I picked the mini skeins so I don't even think I like showed that either so I'll oh, just, no. I'll just yeah. take I'll just add a take picture of all of it together mm -hmm. so you guys can see it yeah you picked the mini skein set and kept it and then because it was like literally the colors I wanted for the Birkin because mm -hmm. I've wanted the Birkin but I haven't been able to like Find the minis that I want and a color, like a main color for it. So I was like, these are literally the perfect colors. Mm -hmm. Like spot on perfect colors. And I was like, I kind of need to keep that one. Yeah. <laughs> but so I kept the minis and there are six minis. The Birkin calls for five colors, I believe. Five contrast colors. I could be wrong. It might be six, but I think it's five. So all of those, I'm going to take out... I believe it was one of either the orange or the yellow. I have not decided yet, but I believe it was one of those two. Because they're a little too similar, but they're like, both colors are really light. But, so one of those are going out, I believe. And then the twig is the main color, which is a, not like a super dark brown, but it's a brown. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be so pretty. Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited. It is going to be pretty. <laughs> yep. But it's like my dream. Birkin sweater, basically. Because, uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, like, I've wanted to knit it for a while. Yep. Like, someone knit it. And I saw it and was like, I need that. Mm -hmm. But then I haven't been able to find the colors for it. So, mm -hmm. perfect colors, basically. Yeah. The yarn curator, <laughs> she did um, a really pretty version of the Birkin when the pattern got uh, re rewritten or... Upgraded. Yeah, because, like, originally, it, there was no increases Fit in issues, the actual yeah. color works charts. Mm -hmm. But it was, like, one of her first color work patterns mm -hmm. or something like that. So yeah. So, it's been updated where it's not just straight mm -hmm. in that color work. There's actually increases in there now. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I haven't read it. I'm pretty sure I have the old version still. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. But, I mean, I'm sure you can get the update for it. Yeah, I just mm -hmm. need to look. I might not even have the pattern yet, but I had it in my cart uh -huh. for a long time. Oh, okay. I might not have bought it yet. You want to just talk about your other purchase, too? Oh, yeah. I bought a bag. My mom's takes stitches. It came today, and it's her gnome bag. Mm -hmm. It's so cute. I was nine minutes late, you guys. <laughs> and you still managed to get And I got not even just a bag. The bag I wanted, too. Which is crazy, because I was like, oh man, I looked up the clock, and it was 11.39, and I was like, oh, I missed it. I'm not going to get this bag. And then I pulled up it, and it was there. And I was like, there's three bags left, like three prints left. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I saw the first two, but then her yarn was there, 
And then the gnome bag was at the bottom. And I was like, oh, because I thought I missed the gnomes. Because I wanted this one. <laughs> but yeah, so I got the gnome bag. I wanted. Hmm. All right. So I made a couple purchases too. I will start with this. I ordered this set from Willow Tree Yarn. It is on her casual base 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon Blend. And it is 50 grams and then three 20 gram minis. And it's called Graham Cracker House. It's so cute. It is cute. And um, I actually got this. I think I'm going to pair these with my advent calendars because I'm, I plan, it's on my Make 9, uh, to knit Stephen's, Stephen West's Garter Marler Cardigan. And I'm gonna hold the minis that I got for Advent with larger amounts of brown, beigey, more neutrally based yarns. They're not gonna all be tonals, They'll, they're speckly ones too, but I mean, I have them <laughs> in my stash already. And then I already purchased, um, like some brown, like a deep brown color for the trim and the cuffs and everything. But that's my plan. I don't know when it's going to get cast on. Not yet. But eventually I will <laughs> cast on the Garter Marlar. And then I bought this set from Happy Mermaid Yarn Co. And it is, let me see. Yeah. Happy Mermaid Yarn Co. That has a little note. <laughs> from the shop owners Courtney and Heather and so this is a sock set the Happy Mermaid Yarn Co sock set it is a 75 25 superwash merino nylon and which is 100 grams and then the mini is 20 grams of the same base and it's called Gnome Kisses and it came with this little marker and then the bag it came as a set from the Happy Mermaid Yarn Co. shop, but it was a collaboration with Red's Lady, Red's Lee, Red's, I think it's Red, Red's Lady Creates, Handmade with Love. But I follow both shops on Instagram, so that's how I found out about it. <laughs> and um, so, and I just love them. So now we're gonna we're gonna go into what we want to cast on because I'm going this is gonna be my February socks and I'm gonna cast on a pair of shorty socks in my reaping pattern. Um, that's my plan and it'll be my February socks. Now I are know, you casting them on now or no February first? Okay, February first, and um, so it'll be before our next podcast. Mm -hmm. Um, and I know it took me a year and a half to finish the reaping socks. And I want to knit these socks in a month. But that's one of the reasons they're gonna be shorties. Um, and, um, but anyway, I'm excited. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. I'm being positive. <laughs> but I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna put, I don't know. Um, I don't know if a sock set will go in this bag. Yeah, probably. We'll just keep it all together. <laughs> And, um, also I'm going to cast on a sweater for my daughter. That's a lot of yarn for one sweater. I okay. didn't know how much. I was going to do a sweater dress. Oh. But now I got... That still seems like a lot. I didn't know. I just bought yarn. It was on sale. <laughs> um, I, and I kind of had a plan in my head. I was going to like write up the pattern. Um, but now I don't think so. <laughs> Now I think I might just follow somebody else's planet pattern. It's easier. Um, but I want to knit these, you know, knit the sweater with these colors. So this is from Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn, black. And I love this yarn, excuse me, strawberry jam. And I think that they'll it'll make a really cute sweater for her. And I would really like to have it done by Caroline's Bridal Shower. 
Think of how cute that would be for Valentine's Day. I know. Caroline's um, bridal shower is on the 11th of February. Mm -hmm. My Caroline is my niece, and um, she is getting married on St. Patrick's Day in March, <laughs> and her uh, bridal shower is on February 11th, and it is like heart themed, which is just fun. Um, is Mary Rose going to the bridal shower? Mm -hmm. Paisley's supposed to too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, Caroline doesn't tell me anything. Caroline <laughs> randomly was just like, oh, yeah, hey, I found this dress for Paisley. And I was like, why does she need a dress? And she's like, oh, she's going to be my flower girl. And I was like, oh, okay. I mean, okay, Paisley is her goddaughter. Daughter. <laughs> Anyways, but then, and then, like, a couple weeks later, I see her again. And she's like, oh, yeah, Mason's going to be the ring bearer. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, you told me about the flower girl, but not the ring bearer. Mm, she's yeah. funny about it though. Wait, I mean, I am not offended, but she wants them in her wedding or anything like that. But it's just funny because she didn't even like ask. She's just like, oh yeah, mm -hmm. hey, mm -hmm. <laughs> I found Paisley this dress, and Mason's the ring bearer, and I'm like, okay. Caroline is um, she's a special girl, <laughs> or a lady. She's a woman, um, but she is the only daughter out of ten children. She has nine brothers. <laughs> She's also the third oldest. She's the so. third oldest, and um, so she she's like a year younger than me, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah sure. she's a year younger <laughs> than you, and um, she um, so you know if you can imagine what it's like growing up with nine brothers. <laughs> um, and anyway. mind you, these boys are hardcore boys. Yeah, rough tumble. Very much boys, and um, so but anyway. <laughs> So she's sweet though. She's, you know, it's probably just because she's been busy. She's been working full time as a nurse and then, you know, just trying to plan the wedding. But. Well, it's like right after, like, she's engaged and everything. Mm -hmm. Like, the first time I saw her after that, she was mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah, Paisley's a flower girl. I'm like, yeah. oh, okay, cool. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, so. Mary Rose is too. Yeah. But. My, um, so my, I would love, like I said, to have the sweater done so she could wear it to the bridal shower. But, um, but if not, it'll still be a fun sweater for her to have. She's six. She'll love it. <laughs> and, um, so that's my two <coughs> pass on plans. And I'm Excuse just going to keep trucking on, um, the projects that I have. I do want to cast on Ralph's cow too, but I feel like I need to finish something before I do that. I have plans to cast on stuff. Yep. Even though I already have a hat for Holden. I actually plan on casting on another hat. You know how I feel. Cast on all the things. Like, it's... I haven't cast it on yet. Like, okay. So there's a story behind this. Because it's already wound. It's pretty. And already knit, partially. Anyways, so how I said I wanted to just knit a pair of fingering weight, well, held fingering double. held double socks. Mm -hmm. I grabbed this, which was actually a full skein. Is a full skein. And then I was knitting it. I was like halfway through the ribbing at this point, actually. Like, I was... Just knitting, and then I look at it, and I was like, I'm ripping this out. <laughs> it's just like, why? <laughs> and I was like, because I think Holden would like this color <laughs> for a hat. Because he told me he wanted purple. So, it is a little bit more purple than it's showing. It's burgundy, basically, but it's purpley. So, his two favorite colors are green and purple. And so, I was knitting this, and I was like, it's like... It's like a burgundy, but it's like a guy burgundy. You know? Like, there's a girl burgundy and then there's guy burgundy. Very much so. I believe, at least. Much more a guy burgundy. But this is Dream in Color. Yeah, especially if he's going to wear it on Smooshy his head. Smooshy cashmere in skipping stone. But I was. I was knitting it and I was like, this is what this yarn's supposed to be. Like, I was so set on it. And then I was like, no, it's getting ripped out. Mm -hmm. And then it's just like, so what are you going to cast on now? Because I wasn't going to cast this on because Holden was at work. And I didn't want to knit him, like, start knitting him a hat and then him be like, I don't like that color. So I had to wait until he actually saw the yarn. But then I was like, eh, it's okay. I started the sock mm -hmm. for myself. So, I so what, are you, what pattern are you going to knit? It's going to be the Rafa's hat. Oh, yeah. The one you like to knit. Yeah. That's my hobby, right? Yeah, that's the one he likes anyways. But mm -hmm. this is also in a fall bag. But... Daphne would live in fall all year <laughs> long. Would. Yeah, she would totally do fall all year I long. Would. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sorry about the creaky chairs. I wear fall clothes, pretty much, like fall color clothes, all year round. Mm -hmm. I even have a pair of cotton pants in, like, a pumpkin, mm -hmm. terracotta-y color. Mm -hmm. I wear it in the middle of summer. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> but then, I also, in my gnome bag, put more yarn that I wound up today. 
I put it in here. I saw that. I figured I'd hear about it in the... Oh, um... yeah. She didn't even question it. <laughs> she didn't even question why I was winding yarn earlier or anything. Theo I figured I'd grabbed... hear about it now. <laughs> Theo grabbed my... Um... Muscle burr yarn. Yes. Mm-hmm. Ripped the ball apart. Three different spots. Mm-hmm. So, cutting it in. The other one. I don't remember by the way, this one. And a half. What's that one from? November. Oh. Okay. But so I also had Holden look at my sock yarn. Well, I pulled out some that I knew that I thought he would like. He did like all of them. It was like eleven skeins, and I have thirteen left for myself. Full skeins. These are not scraps at all, but these are full skeins. So he has eleven. I have thirteen. For reference of how much sock yarn I have. Okay. But anyway, so this is the one he asked me to do first. Well, he didn't ask me. I kind of made him decide one and this is life is gouda which is yarnable oh i remember in the november it looks, for november it looks different caked up i think yeah but it's still pretty similar but mine is a dk weight so these are gonna be his first socks i asked him what weight socks he wanted me to knit him first. and he said and dk he said dk oh i thought he liked um fingering He's literally been living in his Christmas socks and I love you to the moon and back. Aren't those are fingering? Okay. Oh, I thought they were both fingering. He only has the patent scroll is he is fingering and the Cornish layer eyes. Oh, okay. I thought they were so all jingle. Fingering. No, jingle and the other ones are DK. So Woo, my word. But <laughs> I have goals. I did not bring up my last goal. But so basically Anything that's not for Holden, you probably won't see next week. It's my goal. My goal. Oh, you're going to finish all Holden stuff? Except for his blanket? Oh, shh. We don't talk about this blanket. Okay. <laughs> Do not talk Why about this blanket. Why did you think you could finish it all with the blanket in two weeks? <laughs> We're not going to talk about Holden's blanket, okay? Do not ask me about it. It might get done. It might not. He gets real snarky about his blanket, Yeah, too. let's not talk about the blanket, okay? <laughs> Anyways, so goals. Before Valentine's Day, I would like to finish his muscle bird and his hat. His hat. His sweater. Mm-hmm. And then cast on the Rafa's hat and the pair of socks. Mm-hmm. And those are my goals. Those four things. Those are great goals. All right. So I like those goals. Don't know if that's really going to happen, but we will see. So... Yeah. I love this girl when she gets all driven with uh, her, her Yeah, like goals. you hear how I'm not even worried about the first sweater. <laughs> it's just going to sit in my bag, you guys. Let's be honest. Like she's like you. But. When she when she has that goal, oh she no, is like, like a for real. machine. These wasn't even a goal. I was just like, this is what I want to do. Mm. So I just did it. And the first sock was done by the next morning. Mm-hmm. And I cast it on. Like yeah, it was, she, she, it like, was late. Like the little two were already in bed. They go to bed at seven. Uh huh. And mind you, I sat upstairs debating what I was going to knit, and already started to sock and ripped yeah, it out. In that and then color. debated mm-hmm. how I was gonna do the cuffs for these. Yep. Yeah. Like. Yeah, but when she like when she gets goals, or like I'll say that I'm throwing the gauntlet down, like I'll challenge her on something, and she just like. That's all she sees. She's got like those blinders on, you know, they put on horses. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all she sees. She wants to get to that end goal. Um, me, I, I set a goal and then like 48 hours yeah, later, her, I'm like, this is, this is, this, I can't stand this anymore. I gotta do something new. So, yeah, and yeah. I'll say, oh, I thought you were gonna work on that. And she's like, shh. <laughs> Kind of like with your with the whole yeah. Blanket. Let's not bring up the blanket. <laughs> everything, Mind you, everything I, gets finished I eventually. Not, I have not knit a blanket for myself yet. Mm-hmm. The only blankets I have ever finished are baby blankets. Mm-hmm. But like a baby blanket, how can a baby not have a blanket? Mm-hmm. You know, like mm-hmm. I need a blanket. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Yep. I know, cause you've got a habitation throw for yourself. All right, all right. Well, anyway, focus. I don't have any Holden's. Okay. Holding a sweater and, and Mary muscle Rose's burn. sweater. That's what's gonna. That's what you're gonna see in the next episode. Holding stuff yeah. and Mary Rose's. Unless sweater. I get the urge to knit, on, knit baby stuff, because the thirtieth will come and go by then too. 
Yeah, that's true. Well, Mary Rose's kind of fits in with the third Well, week. okay, so I'm not only making stuff for my baby, but Holden's friend is also having his first baby. Mm-hmm. And they're having a girl. So we're having a boy, they're having a girl, and obviously I'm going to knit for them too. Mm-hmm. Plus I have to crochet a little cactus doll thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's yep. super cute. So. Yep. Exactly. Well, on top of my knitting goals, I have cross-stitch goals too, so... But you won't see those in the you know this podcast. I'll have a cross stitch update at some point in February. Some point. Some point. <laughs> when I can say, "Hey, Daphne, I'm gonna run upstairs and do 20 minutes for fall suit." All right. So I think that's everything. Yeah. Nothing else. No, that's all I have. All right. Oh, and we do have, here at the very end, we have show notes in the description box below. I'm pretty sure we've said that. We've talked about the description box in this video. I don't know if we said show notes, though. Yeah. Yeah. But if there's any information that you would like and it's not in the show notes in the description box below, then contact us. You can leave a comment. You can send us an email. You can contact us on Instagram. That information, um, where you can contact us, how you can contact us, is in the description box as well. And we will see you for a regular podcast episode in two weeks. Um, we, at some point, will probably do like a either a day in our life or a week in our life vlog in February. And um, I feel like there's a lot going on in February. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not a lot, I guess. Mm-hmm. Really, only Mason's birthday, Some birthdays and then Caroline's. And- yeah, the bridal shower. Bridal shower. Mm-hmm. Um, or maybe we'll just do snippets of the month of February and post, you know, not a super long vlog, but um, but who knows? We'll figure it out. <laughs> Look for a vlog in February. Yep. All right. And a vlog too. <laughs> and regular podcast episodes. <laughs> All right, we'll see you. Oh, and please. Oh, my gosh. Join join <laughs> Discord. Join our Discord group. I want to chat with you <laughs> about knitting and all the crafty things. All right. Bye. Bye.